Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Clarissa and today I'm recording a Napoa Gym sports bra review video. I heard a lot about this brand through a YouTuber named Katherine Mueller, Katherine Miller. I'm not quite sure how I'm saying her name. Hopefully I'm saying it correctly. Um, it's a very inexpensive activewear line on the internet and I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it. It does look like they carry a lot of styles that are very similar to bigger brands like Lululemon um, and dupes and such. So it isn't original, I will say that. I have seen a lot of these styles on a bunch of other websites, but their price point, you just cannot beat. Um, and I am now realizing as well, the quality is actually not bad at all. So I'm really excited to dive into this today. Before we jump on into the video, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, the notification bell and the thumbs up button to let me know to film more future content like this. So really quickly, I'm gonna go through the pros and cons of the brand that I've experienced thus far. And I just pulled up the email here on my phone of the items and the names. So I have it to refer back to when I'm showing the items. So first things first, like I said, the prices you cannot beat, they are, pretty unbelievable. Um, the least amount I spent on a sports bra was $18.99 and the most I spent was $19.99. The shipping was $15 and this was all in USD. So I purchased five sports bras. I used a discount code, which was Katherine Mueller's. Um, it was 10% off, I believe. And then I had shipping. So everything in total was $104.75 USD. So Canadian obviously converted. That is a little bit more but still not bad for all the items I did get for that price. Now at a place like Lululemon, I love Lululemon. I'm a huge Lululemon girl. You probably could get one to two sports bras, depending on the styles, in the $100 price point range. Um, it is a more luxe and extravagant, luxurious, expensive store. So you gotta kind of keep that in mind. I also cannot stop raving about the quality for these items. They feel so friggin' soft. I've yet to work out with them in the gym though. So I know that will put things to the true test and I haven't put them through the washer yet. So I think in the future, when I do these kinds of videos, I'm gonna do all of those things so I can give you a very honest review on the product itself. Anyone that has talked about this brand, I've heard really amazing things. So it was kind of hard to pass up on trying this clothing brand out. The one con I have to this brand is because it does ship from China, it took such a long time to get here. I almost thought I had to cancel my order. I ordered this on September 30th, 2020, and I think I got it halfway through December. So. It was quite the wait, but it is worth it. The only thing is if you are bouncing between sizes and are losing weight or gaining weight, if you're in a cut or bulk, it would be a little nervous, worrisome, I would say, to order a size and then three months later, you know, you change sizes and your product just comes in. Um, I can imagine that would be quite frustrating, but for someone like me who fluctuates between five and 10 pounds, this will be my size regardless. I also wanted to mention everything is very true to size. I actually messaged Katherine Mueller about the sizing situation because she is a bigger chested girl as well. And I wanted to make sure that I wasn't trying to squeeze into a top that wasn't actually my size. So I will put my like top measurements up on the screen and in the description box for you guys. But I am a 32 double D. I haven't been measured since maybe like a year ago or maybe more. And I know that people at Victoria's Secret, like the workers who work there say that they recommend you get sized every six months or so because you know, your body changes, etc. But I will say I have stayed that size for years. So I don't think I have changed. So 32 double D and then in my sports bras from Lululemon, I usually go for an eight um, and my tops I usually wear an eight and then I usually wear a medium when it's a small, medium, large situation. I hope that helps. I don't know my measurements um, for like waist and hips and stuff, but I don't think that really matters for this try on haul. Without further ado, let's get on into the video. So the first sports bra I have to show you guys is a dupe to the Lululemon Stronger As One sports bra. I believe that's what it's called. And that sports bra sold out so freaking fast and then didn't actually ended up restocking on Lululemon's website until I received my one from Napoa Gym. Um, not complaining, this one still feels great and my sister has a Stronger As One bra so I can compare and the price is much lower. So that's awesome. Um, so the one from Napoa Gym is called the Campaign Women Naked Feel Sports Bra in the color black and I got this in a medium. This was $19.99. So I like that this is a little bit more of a longer line sports bra. I really like the scoop neck situation and the most, the best part about the sports bra is the thicker straps they just go vertically up and down in the back. 
no fancy back straps, nothing like that, no tugging, no pulling on the traps or shoulders, and then you have a nice little circle cut out in the middle of the back. I love this sports bra so, so much. Um, I see that they have it in a few different colors. I wish that they had it in more neutrals, like gray, beige, white, but they have it in colors, which is fine, but I just really think this is a great staple sports bra for the bigger chested girls because you do feel held in. I will say this is a medium support sports bra. I feel pretty held in and I could do a good amount of activity in this, but I most definitely wouldn't go running, um, but I'm not a runner, so that really doesn't apply to me. It's not applicable. Um, I did a little bit of a jumping around test and a bend over test to see um, you know, if there's any cleavage, spillage, and the jumping test seems okay. It seems like it's a medium support. I did a front shot and a side and you know some jumps some high knees i don't think i did a bent over test because this is such high neck i'm not i know i'm not going to spill out of it it's literally so high um so i'm very pleased with this one and um, I highly recommend getting your hands on this one if you don't want to spend the money on the Lululemon version. And this bra does come with removable cup pads, so you can feel free to take those out or leave them in. I personally like to keep my in. Someone like my sister likes to take them out, so it's just a preference thing. The next sports bra I actually got in two colors. So the first one is in white, and this is called the Lucky Sports Bra, and I got this in a medium. This was $19.29. These are USD prices, just so you guys are aware. So this one is a high neck as well. I don't think I did the spilled test because again it's very high neck I wouldn't spill out of this but the sides I wish they were just like a centimeter longer because my like side boob slash fat kind of spills out of it it doesn't really bother me too much but I know that some girls might be self-conscious of that so just be aware when you're looking into this bra I love the coverage on the front and it is a longer line sports bra just like the previous one and the back is what really got me. I love this, it's so simple. I like how it's the thicker straps. We know that I'm not a huge, huge fan of strappy backs. I like them, I enjoy them, but I like these ones so much more if I had to choose. I really like the little mesh detail that they put right here on the inside. And then again, you have a nice little cutout. I think this is such a nice sports bra. And I forgot to mention, this one also has bra inserts. Now, the only funny thing about it is there's like a bra, stitching on the inside um, so the cup doesn't fly out and you can kind of see that in some of the lighting you can't really see too well on camera but I can definitely see in my bedroom mirror you can see the outline through the sports bra in light and like that's not great obviously and then you can see the sports bra pads so that's always difficult with white sports bras I don't know what I really was expecting it's white it's a very difficult color to perfect in a sports bra especially for girls who are chestier and need these cups to stay in um, again it doesn't really bother me too much but just something to note if you are looking into getting the sports bra maybe stray away from the white if you don't want to have the bra and the seam show through this does seem a pretty medium impact as well I did some jumps and I did some high knees and it seemed medium impact again I would not recommend going running with it but other than that I think it's a good all-around sports bra for the chestier girls then moving on to the next color I got this in moss green and a similar color if you've seen in person is the gray sage from lululemon it's literally identical it's this like nice soft muted sagey green color i think it's so pretty same sports bra as the previous one same exact backing medium impact removable cup pads if you want the mesh all that jazz got this in a medium as well i guess i should stop saying i got this in a medium because i got all of these sports bras in a medium i'm really in love with this color i cannot wait to break this out and when we are out of quarantine again wear it at the gym. This next one is called the Routine Cross Back Sports Bra in Ice Blue. This one was $18.99, and this one also came with removable cup pads. I love this color. I think it is so pretty. I would describe it as a periwinkle blue. It just has that strappy back, and I know I talk about not loving strappy backs, but when it has more straps, it's better than less when it comes to thin. And if you're chestier, you'll know what I'm talking about. You just feel more held in the more strapping and pull you feel like you have up on you. I would categorize this one as a longer line sports bra as well. I would say this one is medium support, but 
it isn't as high coverage so when I do the spill test I do spill out of this one a little bit more it is a little bit of a lower cut it isn't super low cut but it is more than the previous ones that I've been showing throughout this video I love this color I want to get more in this color of other styles of bras because it is just so damn pretty and the last sports bra that I almost didn't end up getting but actually ended up being my favorite is called the practice woman strappy sports bra buttery soft in the color red this was $19.99 and when I hold it up it doesn't look red and it isn't red they should really call this like brown or like it really reminds me of Lululemon's color that they came out with ancient copper or Savannah or like a hybrid between those two colors I think it's very similar to that so it's more of like a burnt orangey brown like a darker brick color again muted soft it's a neutral it goes with so many things I really like how it has a square neckline I didn't think I would like that but I think it looks so flattering on the boobs and then when you turn it on the back you have two thicker straps which I really enjoy because again like I've been saying this whole video it holds you in well and then it just has a little bit of stringy strapness at the bottom this doesn't really do anything this is just the design but that's perfectly fine with me um, again it is such a nice freaking sports bra this isn't a long line so I will say that it's just a regular sports bra and you do have the option to remove the cup pads if desired so I really really like this one I'm so glad I picked it up and it fits so well it fits like a glove so I cannot wait to wear this as well when I get out of quarantine something I did want to mention collectively across all these sports bras is they are so soft like they don't feel like a cheap fabric at all some of them feel like a Luan kind of like a cottony feel that's um, one of Lululemon's materials that they make some of their stuff out of or like a new Lou fabric which is what their aligns are made out of at Lululemon I know I keep making a lot of cross references to that brand but I just think it's such a good brand to base off of because a lot of girls will know I'm assuming that um, what the kind of more popular fabrics are and how to compare them especially because Napogem doesn't have a real in-person store so you can't go feel these fabrics and be like oh yeah exactly that's how it feels but with Lululemon you can when we're not under lockdown so overall I want to say I'm very impressed with all of these sports bras I like the coverage I like the feel I love the color selection they have on their sports bras and I know Napogem also does have like jackets and leggings and tops and all that jazz um, but I was really really intrigued in trying out the sports bras and I'm so glad I got to do so comment down below which one your favorite sports bra was out of the ones I had mentioned in today's video I'd love to know your opinion and I can't wait to try out more from Napogem in the future I had a really good experience other than the shipping delay but other than that I couldn't be happier with the selection and the items I chose thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video bye